What is up guys, it is IJ Boob again, back with more of Pikmin 2 in the last video. We have gone through most of the Dream Den and we've gotten up until this area. In this video, we are going to do the final boss of this game, which is in sub-level 14. So, we meet Louie down there. But first off, I'm going to uh, get all Pikmin uh, aside. We're going to use yellows for this, because it's recommended to use yellows for this fight, so we're going to be using yellows. Right, what Olimar needs to do, we're going to go behind the geyser, because there's a gimmick to this fight where it could affect all Pikmin, so we're going to go here, behind the geyser, and then, right here, we have four pieces of treasure, well... Louie is. So, we're gonna go to him now. So, there's Louie right here. Yeah. Is that Louie? Mr. President, I have located Louie resting on a vast mound of treasure. For him to venture to these depths below alone, uh, the desire of the man of thing is to be feared. Uh, but Louie is not moving. Could have been exhausted. His strength is these depths. There may be yet, uh, there may yet be time. Quickly to Louis' aid, but that's not all because we then meet this. We meet the Titan Dweevil. Yes, it's not over yet, guys. And not to mention, he has this. He has multiple attacks, which could affect a lot of Pikmin. And wow, we were attacking a lot there. And then we have multiple attacks so he uses pretty much every element he has uh, so we saw two attacks there um, so right here he's using the monster pump uh, so and now this is where you want to switch captains and change and now he's using the comedy bomb okay uh, there's no Pikmin dying yet. Okay. Oh, he's using that again. Now, it's recommended to attack some of these while his attacks are going, because then... Yeah. Now, you notice we're getting hit as well. Yeah, the Titan's Weevil is pretty much an exception when it comes to, um... Um... How do you word it? Um... I don't know how you word it. Oh! He's using the comedy bomb a lot. Wow. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, the monster pop is down. So, yeah, he'll use other attacks as well. Oh, he's, use he's using the comedy bomb again. Wow. I'm impressed. Right, I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna get one of the most dangerous ones out of them all. Well, there's two dangerous ones, really. Oh, and he's using comedy bomb again. Yeah. So, yeah, you can pretty much get hit and hurt as a captain in this. Oh, one yellow dad. Here is the dangerous one, the flare cannon. Yep, it sounds like hell and death. That's why I recommend getting the dangerous ones first. And I recommend yellows because he could have an attack. Oh, which he's not doing yet, surprisingly. Okay, and he's attacking there, attacking that while he's doing that. That is going down, wow. Okay, oh, he's using that attack now. This is the Shock Therapist. And it'll uh, have electric. And depending on how much damage these have ta taken... Oh, wow, that's down. Um, it'll also be different. So this bounces as it shocks, right? Well, yeah. And the music of the fight changes as well, which is amazing. Uh, so meaning the attacks get harder, but I'm surprised I'm doing so well. I might actually beat this quicker than anyone else. You can also freeze him, but it's not really recommended to too much. Okay. Okay, he's doing that. He's doing that. Okay. There we go. He's gonna. He's gonna use the comedy bomb. Don't. You can see that's also glitched because now it's bred in four. Makes it look like a Nazi swastika a bit, but okay. The way they shape it, but whatever. If I can actually get that. 
Okay, he's using the Shock Therapist. Okay, there we go. That might go down. Yes, it went down. All that's left is the Shock Therapist, and you can actually attack it while it's in operation. And, well, unless you get hit by a cap- well, get hit by a captain, then. Yeah. But I'm surprised I'm doing well. Okay. And it's down- oh my god, wow! We were so fast, right. Now, the grey skin is all off. We can go up to him. And now, what we can do now is we can pretty much attack him with every Pikmin because he has no more weapons. So I'm just going to keep throwing. And I really like this boss theme. It's one of my favourites of all time. Okay, you can... Uh, spray him before killing him to get lots of sprays, but I'm not going to do that, because not only I'm not need that, but we want to see his death animation. Come on. It's nearly down. And he's down. And there's Louie. And then... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Louie? Uh, are your life functions fading? Uh, no, he only appears to have fainted. He is always running into trouble. Instruct the Pikmin to carry him. There is not enough room for him in the cockpit anymore. Uh, we will have to keep him in the cargo hull with the treasure hoard. Uh, that's fine by me. Uh... But I'm surprised I did that very fast. Normally, people take like 10 minutes to defeat the Titan Dweevil. Only 7 minutes into the recording, and wow. So here, 1,000 Pocos, we've got the Monster Pump. I think each of these are worth 1,000 Pocos, so... Okay, we're going to save Louis till last. Okay, and then we've got this, the Flare Cannon. Yeah, 1,000 Pocos, it is the Flare Cannon. Okay. Get Louie there as well. And then here. And then here, we get the Shock Therapist. <sighs> kind of reminds me of those energy tanks in Metroid a bit. Uh, the Shock Therapist, again, 1,000 Pocos. And then, the Comedy Bomb. Which looks nothing like a bomb, really. 1,000 Pokers, yeah, again, yeah, the Comedy Bomb. And then lastly, Louie. Yeah, yeah, apparently he's treasure. Okay. We have Louie in our treasure hoard. He's only worth 10 Pokers, wow. And he's called the King of Bugs. Yeah, obviously. Because he's a bug eater. Poor Louie. And that's all treasures! It's the last time we'll ever hear that. Wow. Okay, so yeah. This is it, guys. This is the end of Pikmin 2. So. It's been a pleasure here. Let's escape. I like how you can have that spray during the cutscene, that's so cool. But this is all the treasure from this cave. Even Louis' class has won. How many Pikmin deaths? 81. That's not actually true because obviously I did that glitch and it counts more Pikmin deaths for some reason. But yes, we didn't really lose a lot. So, yeah, even though it says 81, but again, it's glitched. So, let's save and see what happens when we go back to the Wistful Wild. Every cave has been finished. You've collected every treasure! And we get this cutscene.
There's the Pikmin left behind. All of them are in prison and then they're shit. <laughs> the president's just laughing there. Oh, but what's this? Everything's glowing, it seems. The Pikmin are swaying. Are they translucent or something? It looks like it. I like how the onions fly with us. is Pikmin 2 then. We've got loads of time for this video left, but <sighs> I didn't expect it to be that quick. It only took us 10 minutes to get here. or well, 11 minutes, but still. That's impressive. But it's not everything here, because we get to check our score as well. In a memento, if it skips this. Come on, skip it. Pressing buttons does nothing. There we go. Yeah, a lot to poison, but again, it's glitched, so we didn't really lose a lot. Four, exactly 400 red spawn, wow. How many purples have I got born? 161. And the total playtime is 1642, okay. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? I like how the images still show Louis, even though we didn't really play as Louis after that. But yeah, that overwrites our score previously when we had Louis. But yeah, you can see we're on day 19 now, and obviously, um, we finished everything. Uh, but if you decide to go, you, you can go back into caves and fight the bosses again, but obviously you won't get the treasures, but you can collect the bosses again. If you went, go, if you went back and fight the Titan Dweevil again, it'll just be its final form, where it has no weapons, and obviously no Louis as well, so, it'll just be that. So, um... I think for the rest of this video, we could, we can uh, go over some secrets. So, first off, let's look at the let's look at bits of the Piclopedias. Oh, there's one left. That's the yellow candy pop board. Luckily, I know how to get them. Um, yeah, it's annoying how the candy how the candy pop buds are handled. Um, but I think everything else is complete here. Yeah, everything else is complete. So we got the red ball bob, the airy ball bob, and all that. So, and the bosses have their own section as well. Um, we have the Empress Ball Blacks, the Burry Snagrip, the Beady Long Legs, the Emperor Ball Blacks, the Giant Bread Bug, the Pileated Snagrip, the Man at Legs, the Ranging Bloister, the Water Wraith, uh, Segmented Crobster, Raging Long Legs, and Twite Titan Dweevil. And then, we can go to the treasure hoard. Yeah, you've collected all the second in the series. Uh, plunge into the juicy world of alien cuisine. I think that said. You've collected the Xenoflora series. Wow. You can read all that yourself. Or the Pale Anthology series. Uh, the Ancient Secret series. Then the the Tortured Artist series. And then the Modern uh, Amenity series, however you say that. Yeah, they're each a series, surprisingly. Uh, Celestial Vibe series. Uh, Crystallized Emotion series. And then we have the Dream series. Then the, the Blast from the Past series. So yeah, that's pretty much all the 
Nintendo stuff. We've got the Massive Receptacle series. Wow. Uh, the Ancient Ad series. And what's this one? The Odd Logo series. Well, yeah, because they're odd now. And the, the Titaned Weevil series, they just call these. And they're not going to reveal the other ones, but yeah. Apparently, Louis one of them. You can also zoom in on these and then have um, Olimar talk about it in here. The ship talk about it. But in the Piclopedia, you can have Olimar talk about them. Or Louis talk about them. But you can't access Louis's notes uh, if you uh, went after, after paying the debt. Uh, if you want to find Louis again, you would have to get all treasures and save Louis. So, yeah. That's pretty much the only restriction there, but... Um, I guess there could be something else for me to show off, and... It involves going through many days later. Uh, so... And it's something you can find in the Wistful Wild. Uh, so... So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pretty much, um... Uh, go back... Uh, later in time to uh, uh, see this thing. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, so starting on uh, day 31, yeah, there's no day on it. Um, uh, in the perplexing pool, you have a massive ball bear here. So yeah, that's how the days get harder. Uh, and there's pretty much a lot of ball, ball bears now. Uh, on top of that, also, if you step on this disc thing on the same day, and and more, you also have BD long legs. Yeah. So let, let's actually fight him. So, so I'm gonna spice up all my Pikmin. And I'm gonna do this. Let's see what happens if we kill him like this. We get to. Bit of sprays and lots of pellets, so this is also great for um, this is also great for getting more Pikmin and all that. Just get that there. But yeah, extremely useful. We're gonna see a lot of Pikmin get stuff there. But let's look at the counter. Yeah, lots on the counter there. Uh, I want to see if I can do that glitch real quick. Okay, guys, I couldn't really, I couldn't do that glitch, but I guess you get the idea. You can go out of bounds, but you have to have the uh, the speed upgrade as well. Uh, and lastly, now in the Whisper of Wild, there is one enemy that I want to show off that doesn't show up in the Piclopedia at all, and it only appears in in the Whisper Wild. On days 31, as you can see here, but also on 61, 91, 121, 151, 181, etc., etc. We find these enemies right here. These are called Yujadani, or Yujadani, however you say it. And these drop a ton of nectar. You can see we got tons of potions just by hurting them there. Yeah. But they can drop poison as well, so that's why I've took all the whites. But this is a... Oh, wow. No nectar anymore. Because uh, apparently we can only show so many nectar at once. But yeah, this is a great way of getting potions, but it's very rare. Only appear on certain days, pretty much. Oh, I missed with... But you know what? You can get that by yourself, President. There we go. Let's see if we can keep doing that. Oh, I missed again. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, wow. You can also push all of mine into one of them. And it does the same thing. See, oh, and then we missed again. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much. 
Yeah, I want to get this like that. There we go. See, we're getting tons of those now. Apparently, that creepy big chrysanthemum is still alive, even though I've killed all enemies before this day. Yeah, there's more Ujidanis over here. So, yeah. Uh, uh, but, yeah, these don't show up in the Picopedia. They do show up in the Japan exclusive e reader cards for the game, which is surprising. And I guess the card could also reveal how you get to them. I don't know if that's true, though, considering it's in Japanese, but whatever. This is a really useful way of getting uh, potions, but it's extremely rare. It only shows up on a couple of days, pretty much. Uh, I can't see. Alright. There we go. Uh, no! I got that. Got 70 bitter sprays now. Wow. Let's do that. Wow. Got that. Push Mr. President there. There we go. And then. Then. One last one. There we go. We got 70 spicy sprays. Holy crap. And he's still alive as well, apparently. Well, you can't eat any of my Pikmin because obviously. There we go. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Uh, see if I can get more potions with this nectar. Oh, I got Mittites though. Oh my god. You can see it's difficult to kill Mittites with whites, with normal Pikmin. That's not the purple, but. But yeah. Yujidanis, they only appear in these two places, uh, unless they appear up here as well. No, they don't. It's just those areas in the impact site area. Uh, let's see if I can kill him. Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. But yes. You could just spam the burp as well. But yes, that is most secrets so far. So I'll meet you for the next secret before ending the video off. Yeah. It's really that internet. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's end the friggin' day. Okay guys, so you might be thinking, well, why are you back in the Dream Den in sub-level 14? I thought we've already defeated the Titan Weevil. Yes, but I want to show something else. Well, obviously, not only... Uh, this again. Final level. Indeed. But I would also like to show off um, what it looks like when you fight him after getting the treasures, as well as what happens if you use spray. Well, we're going to do that now. I've only bought purples and whites because I didn't really need the others, so... It's our moment of truth here to see what it looks like. So, without further ado, we're going to get our Pikmin sprayed right here and find out. is this. Yep! You get tons of potion nectar. Yes, if you do that. So yeah, that means we're going to try and do the trick again. Multiple times, and hold on guys. And look how many sprays we have now. Yes, isn't that a miracle? <laughs> Just <laughs> look at the amount of sprays we have. 
<laughs> it's just wow. Okay. And now it's time to leave this cave. I'm gonna. I want to see what it looks like when we burp. <laughs> it's still there. So yeah. And I've only got a couple of poor bulbs, that's it. So yeah, and zero Pikmin deaths and all that, so... Yeah. And then... Last thing for today I want to show off is... The mail. And first off, we look at how much Pikmin were born and died. So let's just... Uh, there we go. And now let's look at the mail, which... Um, uh... And yeah, I recorded the Titan Undo Evil part before the um, secret enemies. Uh, so, that's our last mail, and you can see we skip day 18. So, first, Olimar's wife. I think I messed up, darling. A, a, a pickpocket stole from a small fortune from me. It's been a nightmare. I'm afraid we're going to have to live lean up for a while. And then Olimar's son. Hey, Papa, I'm so happy. Mama's back to normal. I'm not sure what the reason is. Love, maybe? Anyway, hurry up and come home, and don't forget to bring souvenirs. And then Olimar's daughter. Daddy, Mama has changed again. I'm surprised she says Mama and not Mommy or Mummy, I don't know. She's become nice like she used to be. She said it's okay if I don't study as much. Is it really okay if I don't work so hard to be perfect? And then we have the President's wife. The President's grumpy wife. All of the treasure you've found is on a list that's been found. I see you in a new light, honey. Hockatate Freight is open for business once again. Right back to work tomorrow. <sighs> and then Louis' grandma. Louis, I heard you completed your task. Congratulations. My little Louis has become an extraordinary man. How about visiting your nana? I've got bug juice. And then we got a spam message. Spam, Hockatate Emag. 255, not just songs, songs with soul. Rock out for the picks greatest hits and get sappy. And depending on the version of the game you're playing, you'll also get a URL uh, going to the website for Pikmin 2, which differs between region, but as you can see, it's not in the Switch version anymore. I have no clue why. Maybe the website doesn't exist anymore, but whatever. Oh, my son again. Dad, today I'm writing on the behalf of Bulby. I've been playing fetch with him, and he's gotten really good at it. Can't wait to uh, show you soon. And then Olimar's daughter once again. Dad, our dog Bulby has been acting like a pig. He ate all of the carrots. Have you really seen creatures on that planet that just look like Bulby? Yeah, and I guess Bulbobs are pretty much pets on Architate. And then the last message you get, which was repeated throughout the other days, which is Olimar's wife going, I love you. Don't keep me waiting any longer. Please come home. I made it of your favorite soup, and it's been waiting for you. Bring souvenirs. And yeah, that and that message you get that message every single time after finishing the game. So it's pretty much repeated. So yeah. And oh, I didn't. I mention that um, this game no longer has a day limit, so you no longer have to survive within thirty days. You can see we're on day thirty-one now. Uh, which we were on before when we were finding those secret enemies in the Whisper Wild. Uh, but yes, um, I think that'll be it for today's video, guys. So, um, I would like to thank you guys for watching this series of videos. It's been a pleasure. I will do challenge mode eventually within Pikmin 2. Uh, but I'll make that its own series. It'll still be in the same revisited playlist. But, um, it will be its own separate videos. Uh, Two-player battle might be its own thing as well. When I might have a friend over. And for some reason, on the Switch, you have to do this. For some reason. And, yeah. So, yeah, we will do... Uh, two-player battle eventually as well. Uh, but not right now. And then, obviously, the options menu is is completely different in the Switch version, because originally you had a D-Flicker option, which is not here, because obviously you don't really need it anymore. Uh, but it, but you, it gave you a cool image, which I wish we had kept, but surprisingly, no. A high score is self-explanatory. It gives us a high score. So, oh, it gives us separate high scores for the depth payoff and all treasures. So, 
this is what it's like, I guess, if you want to know for this Let's Play, so... Yeah. Really cool, isn't it? We lost more to explosions when we had all treasures, well... <laughs> we had a lot of Pikmin born, I'm surprised. Because at first I thought it would, like, overwrite it, but no. But I'm surprised for that. Then a bonus is, is pretty much the cutscenes of the game. And there's also one that we haven't got, but that's because to get the last one, you have to finish challenge mode uh, with a perfect score. So that means uh, finishing all challenges with no Pikmin killed. So, yeah, it's slightly tricky, but, but at least that's all you do when you unlock it. And in the Japanese version, there will be another option called E+. And what is that? It is e-reader support. Yes, uh, I guess I'll do that in the future as well. Not for this series, but still. Oh yeah, and secret things happen on the title screen as well. In fact, with one of secrets, you can actually uh, do this. Which differs depending on the controller you have, but... But here, the Pikmin are changing their logo from Pikmin 2 to Nintendo. Impressive. And then you can change it back by pressing a different button. On the Switch, it's the minus button for Nintendo and then the plus button for Pikmin 2. So, yeah. I think on GameCube, it might be the L and R buttons. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It might be the X and Y buttons. I'm not quite sure on that, but... Uh, yeah. And the fact that the tile screen changes every time, as, uh, every time you load it as well. So now it's in winter, but you can also get spring, summer, and autumn slash fall. Uh... Pressing other buttons can cause, like, an iridescent flint beetle to appear. You can also get a, uh, bulb, bulb orb to appear. And it can even eat some of the Pikmin, and some of the Pikmin will disappear. It's kind of cool. Um... But, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Pikmin 2, then. Um... So, yeah. That has been... It has been Pikmin 2. This has been a great series. I shall see you guys next time with a completely different thing. So I shall see you guys next time. It's a side jump about. See you guys next time. Bye!